combination method. Now, when it comes to binomial expansions, where you want to find, um, let's say, a particular term, okay? Now, we have what we call the combination method. And the combination method goes like this. If I have a plus b, or raised to the power n, okay? We are saying that this becomes n combination 0, a raised to the power n. And n combination 0 will give us 1. So actually, this is 1, a raised to the power n, okay? Plus, then n combination 1. We reduce this by 1. So this becomes a raised to the power n minus 1. Then we introduce what? b. Plus, then n combination 2. We reduce this by 1. If this is a raised to the power n minus 1, we want to reduce this by 1. It becomes a raised to the power n minus 2. Then we increase this by 1, b squared, plus n combination 3. We reduce this by 1, a raised to the power n minus 3. Increase this by 1, b raised to the power 3. So it continues until we get to the last term, which is n combination n, which will be b raised to the power what? n. Okay? And n combination n is also equal to 1. So, when we want to find, um, let's say, I have x plus y all raised to the power 3. And I want to expand this. Okay, we are saying that this becomes 3 combination 0, x raised to the power what? 3. Okay? Plus, this becomes 3 combination 1. We reduce this by 1, x raised to the power 2, then we introduce what? y. Plus, we shall have 3 combination 2, then we shall reduce this by 1, x, and then we increase this by 1, y raised to the power 2. And then we have 3 combination 3, we have x raised to the power 0, and y raised to the power 3. Now, if we should solve this, 3 combination 0 on our calculator will give us 1, and 1 times x cubed is x raised to the power 3. Plus, 3 combination 1. Now, 3 combination 1 is, when I say n combination r, this is the same as n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. So if I have 3 combination 1, this becomes 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 factorial, then 1 factorial. So when we solve this, this becomes 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 is 2, I have 2 factorial. So this will give me 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1. And 1 factorial is just 1. So 2 will cancel 2. My answer is what? 3. So 3 combination 1 will give us 3, which will be 3 into x squared y. Plus, then we have 3 combination 2. 3 combination 2 on our calculator will give us, also give us 3. Then we have x, y squared. And then 3 combination 3 will give us 1. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So 1 times 1 is 1 times y cube, we get y cube. So this is what we call the combination method. Now, assuming we have a large expansion, let's say we have been given a large power or a big power to expand. Let's say I have 4x plus 3y raised to the power 8. Okay? And I've been asked to find the coefficient. The coefficient of the term with x raised to the power 5. Okay? I've been asked to find the coefficient of the term with x raised to the power 5. So I want to find what x raised to the power 5 brought. Let's say if it has 20x raised to the power 5, y raised to the power 3, then my answer will be 20y raised to the power 3. So now let's find out what, how we can get the coefficient of x raised to the power 5. Now, remember that 3 combination 0 gave us the first term, which is x cubed. So in this case, if I should write 8 combination 0, it will give me the first term, which is 4x, all raised to the power of 8. Okay? So if I want 4x raised to the power 5, it means 8 combination 0 is giving me 8. So 8 combination 1 will give me x raised to the power 7. 8 combination 2 will give me x raised to the power 6. 8 combination 3 will give me x raised to the power 5. Okay? So x raised to the power 5 is, 5 is what? 8 combination 3. So I write this as 8 combination 3. Then I have 4x raised to the power 5. Now if this is raised to the power 5, it means my 8, my 3y is raised to the power what? 3. 
So this is 3y raised to the power 3. Remember, anytime you add the powers here, it should sum up to this power. So you see, this is 3. This is 2 plus 1, giving us this 3. This is 1 plus 2, giving us this 3. And 0 plus 3, giving us this 3. So the same way, 5 plus 3 will give us 8. So if I want the coefficient of x5, this is going to be 8 combination 3 on the calculator, which will give us... So this will give us 56 times... Now, 4 raised to the power 5. 4 raised to the power 5 will be... 1024 x raised to the power 5 times this will be 333 which will be 27 y cubed. So in actual sense, our coefficient of x raised to the power 5 will be 56 times 1024 times 27. So we have 56 times 1024 times 27. 154,000, 1,548,288. Then we have x raised to the power 5 y raised to the power 3. So the coefficient of x raised to the power 5 will be 1,548,288 y cubed. So therefore, our coefficient will be 1,548,288 y cubed. So this will be the coefficient of the term x raised to the power 5. Okay? So we are able to use the combination to pick out a particular um, term we want. So we can say h combination 0 is our first term. Our second term will be h combination 1. It goes on like that till we get to the term that we want. So with this, you can be able to use the combination method to also expand binomials and so on and so forth. Then we go to the last part, which is the binomial theorem for any power, which will be our last topic for binomial theorem.